What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today I want to talk to you guys about Xbox One and what Microsoft intended to do after the initial launch of the Xbox One in 2013. Now, we've seen that the Xbox One had a really, really rocky start. They did start picking up momentum. Actually, the Xbox One is doing really well when you consider the seven generation consoles. It's head and shoulders selling better than the Xbox 360 ever did. And right now, I would speculate it's sitting at around 26 million consoles sold worldwide. So that's still a huge amount of sales for the, for the company and for the console, it's a huge success. But what did Microsoft initially intend or envision for their flagship console? How many sales do you guys think Microsoft thought they were going to get with the Xbox One initially? It's a pretty big number and I'll drop a link in the description. Microsoft initially intended to sell 200 million Xbox One consoles. Phil Spencer talks about the sky-high ambition of the Xbox team with Xbox One. Xbox boss Phil Spencer has talked to Steve Avor about Xbox One console sales and revealed that the Redmond-based firm initially intended to ship 200 million consoles under the Xbox One brand name. Mr. Spencer stated that under the leadership of former Xbox boss Don Matrick, Xbox division had planned to sell 200 million Xbox One systems, far outselling the most successful console of all time, Sony's PlayStation 2. However, Don Matrick left the company before the launch of Xbox One, and obviously Xbox One has not managed to sell 200 million units either as a console or as a brand together with the Xbox One S. Mr. Spencer said that over-the-top video services such as Netflix were given center stage to Xbox One under Mr. Matrick. He hoped that the diverse audience would boost its popularity and hence total sales. After Matrick's departure, Spencer steered Xbox One in the direction of gamers first concentrating more on proving to be the best gaming console first and entertainment system later. After $499 as initial price was slapped on Xbox One at the time of launch, Connect included, it was seen as a major turn off for customers to give it a go. Mr. Spencer has stuck by Mr. Matrix's gun saying that the plan wasn't necessarily a bad one and that it was a completely rational goal to work towards. He has also admitted that users now put their consoles to use for content like video these days and Matrix's vision of making a console that would appeal to all users was a sensible idea. At the same time, he has reiterated that serving gamers was and remains to be the first priority for the company when it seeks to build its consoles. Xbox One has so far managed to sell around 10 million units and with the upcoming Project Scorpio not too far now, We'll know soon whether Mr. Spencer has managed to create something that captures both ideas sufficiently. How how polite, how kind of the man, the myth, the legend, Phil Spencer. Look, man, and I even like him more now, you know, for not chewing Don Matrick up and spitting him out the way I would have. Don Matrick really screwed the company. He screwed Xbox, he screwed Xbox gamers, he screwed Microsoft, and he tried to go over to Zynga, and look what happened. He got fired. I think he's managing a Dairy Queen or something now, but I would've just told him flat out. Don Matrick's plan of what Xbox was, was the antithesis of what Xbox was really all about in the beginning. Xbox 360 was about the gamers. Gamers first, all that other stuff came second. Matrick tried to turn it into a TV box that it happened to play video games. That's just not the way console gamers think. A console gamer wants their console to play games. I mean, I don't mind watching Netflix on my Xbox One or on my PS4 or watching HBO Go, none of that stuff. But that comes second to my gaming console. I got a smart TV for that stuff. So Phil Spencer once again showing class and pizzazz by not smashing Don Matrick's ass. Ooh, I'm a rapper. I mean, honestly, I would have tore him a new one. The guy basically came in there, stirred the pot, fucked up Xbox and ran. Went out to another company, started to screw them up and got fired. I would have just told it like it is, Phil. You know, Don Matrick doesn't, he shouldn't be in this company, he shouldn't be in this business. He doesn't know anything about the way the console gaming works. He doesn't know anything about the console uh, consumers and people who buy these products. He should be working someplace else and he should not be the CEO or COO of any company. And that's what I would have said. But 200 million Xbox Ones was their original trajectory f for the Xbox. And, you know, it might take a few years. I don't know if they'll ever get that high. More than likely not now with the Rocky, uh, you know, the Rocky start of the Xbox One. But they can dream. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. How do you feel about Phil Spencer being so polite and nice to Don Matrick? To me, that's that's more of the story than the 200 million that thought they were going to sell. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.